Hello and welcome to Black Pumps TV. My name is Noni Mwaseke. I am a certified public accountant. Uh, today, I really want to talk to you about the uh, stimulus package called the CARES Act, which actually stands for Coronavirus Aid, Relief and Economic Security. In short, it's called CARES Act, right? Perfect name for it. But before we go into this, and it's actually about 800 pages and I'm going to just do snippets of it that I think it's going to be useful to you. Uh, but before we do this, two things that I need to get out of the way. The first one is, I hope you're staying home and staying safe and keeping fit. It's really essential so that we can beat this COVID-19. And the second thing is to wish my handsome nephew, Simdi Mwabweze, a happy fifth birthday happy birthday same day i love you baby so now that we've gotten that out of the way so the first ones that i really want to talk about is talk about the individual provisions right so the first one is the unemployment uh, benefit if you're followed or you're laid off or you lost your job for any reason please go and file your unemployment insurance claim Go to your EDD office and file that. The CARES Act actually added another $600 a week up to four months. So let's say you live in California and your maximum unemployment benefit is about $450. The CARES Act now added another $600. So every week you're getting $1,050. So it's important that you file now. Okay, there's no waiting period. The CARES Act with the waiting period. So that's pretty good. And then the other thing is that if you live in California, normally your benefit will probably run out by 26 weeks. With the CARES Act, you have another 13 weeks added to it. The other thing that you may want to consider is that there is now a waiver of the 10% penalty. If you withdraw money from your 401k plan or from your IRA plan. So if you withdraw that the 10 percent penalty is no longer charged to you up to a hundred thousand and you can actually pay off the loan in three years if you don't pay off the loan in three years then there will be tax on it so i'll give you an example if you borrow twenty five thousand dollars today there's no 10 percent penalty and you do not pay tax on that but now you have from 2020 to 2023 to pay off that loan, right? If you pay off that loan back to yourself, because you're paying it back to your account, then there's no tax on it and there's no penalty. That's really huge. And you can borrow up to $100,000. Then the final one is the rebates. We've all heard about these rebates, right? So it's $1,200 per person. So if you're married filing jointly, you have $2,400. If you're single, it's $1,200. However, there's a phasing for that amount. So there's a 5% phasing when you reach a certain income level. For singles, it's about 75,000. Head of household, it's 122,500. And married filing jointly, it's about $150,000. And this is based on either your 2019 tax return or your 2018 tax return, whichever one you have filed. And it's a rebate. So it means that 2020, if your income is significantly higher, you may find yourself paying back some of that amount. But let's cross that bridge when we get there. So also, you'll be getting $500 per each qualifying child. So it's not just your $1,200, you're getting $500 um, for each child. Right now, you wait for your check that coming. Um, so we've talked about, those are the three key things. There are other, so many other provisions, but these are the key three things I thought i talk about. Now let's move over to the loans. That's the fun part, okay? So the CARES Act actually has about three loans, but I'll talk about only two of them. The reason I'm talking about only two of them is that the third one, it's kind of meant for like middle size to big, organizations and honestly i know they all have tax people they all have lawyers working on it so i'm not going to waste my time on that so let's go back to the first one 
It's called Paycheck Protection Program. And it's open to businesses, individuals who are self-employed and independent contractors. So if you have a small business and you have payroll, you have five employees, you qualify. If you're self-employed and you don't have payroll, it's just you. You're the sole proprietor, you qualify. If you work as an independent contractor where they give you 1099 miscellaneous, you qualify. And to do the application, you're actually going to apply through your banks. Why do we want you to do this loan? This loan is actually based on two and a half times your monthly salary or your monthly income. So let's say you make $10,000 every month so your average it's ten thousand dollars if you multiply that by 2.5 you're getting to twenty five thousand the bank can now give you twenty five thousand dollars here's the sweetness that twenty five thousand dollars can be forgiven i.e it's free money to you but you have to use it in a certain way you have to use it to do payroll or pay yourself if you're self-employed as long as you use it for that and you also pay your rent, business rent, and business utilities. That loan can be forgiven. So that's free money. So please do me a favor, go to SBA website, and it's also on the screen if you're watching, it's on the screen. Click that um, link and apply today. Why do I want you to apply today? Because the money has a cap. Once they hit that $350 billion, they will be over. So please apply today. The other one that I wanted to talk about is the one that we call EIDL for short. It's called Economic Injury Disaster Loan or Grant. So the government is actually giving out a grant of $10,000. What do I mean by grant? It means that it's free money. If you get the $10,000, you don't have to pay it back. Right? So you qualify if you had any type of business. You should go to sba.gov and apply. The website is on the screen as well. I think it's covid19relief.sba.gov. So you can go there and apply today. Um, those are the things that I really want to talk about. There's a lot of confusion out there. So I try to keep it very simple to just tell you, hey, you qualify and go and file the applications today. If you have any questions, or there's any topic whatsoever that you want me to discuss, I can answer your questions privately. Or I can do another video and address all the questions that I get. Thank you so much. Stay safe. We're going to beat this. I wish you all the best. And as always, do me a favor. Remain fabulous. Thank you. Bye.